I uh, appreciate the strong vote that we had yesterday, 90 to 4, to advance and continue debate on S-2657. Uh, just after that vote was concluded, I laid down a substitute amendment that contains the full text of the Bipartisan American Energy Innovation Act. Now, having done that, we would normally begin the process of, of voting on amendments, whether by voice or by vo uh, roll call in this so-called regular order. We certainly have no shortage of, of options. We've got some 200 amendments that have now been filed to the bill. What we're missing is, is a, a little bit of cooperation here so that we can actually reach consent and move to votes. Uh, we could not reach agreement to have votes throughout the course of this week from Monday until effectively now. It's been frustrating. Uh, both Senator Manchin and I have been working to try to facilitate that. Uh, we want to take amendments. The leader wants us to take amendments. Um, we've got a good bill. We think we've got a pretty strong bill, but we know that it's, it's always possible to make it better, uh, gathering those ideas from, from colleagues who have not been part of the process on the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. We want to address those priorities from as many members as we can. So while we were blocked on votes this week, our staffs have been working together, Senator Manchin's and mine, to develop a modified substitute that will add to the original um, text a total now of 18 filed amendments. These will be included as part of the underlying text. So we've, we've, we've been working this week, maybe not actively out on the floor with, a, with an, uh, a process where folks are voting on, but we have been able to take some of these consensus areas, bring them together, and put them into uh, a, a modified uh, text. This is not, this is not my, preferred, prefer, my preferred approach, if, if we could do it the good old-fashioned way, if you will, through um, individual votes or an, uh, a manager's amendment, a manager's package, that's great. But really where we were was a modified substitute was, was the option that was available to us. Um, recognizing that we've got limited time on the floor and we were still not able to, to form that path forward. Um, but I want to speak real quickly, very, very much a highlight. The modified substitute includes an even number of priorities from both sides, um, some with amendments, some with modifications, but we've been able to take provisions from uh, the senator from Arizona, the senator from Rhode Island, Senator Ernst of Iowa, Feinstein from California, Tillis of North Carolina, uh, from New Hampshire, South Dakota, New, uh, Senator Hassan and Senator Shaheen, Senator Enzi of Wyoming, uh, Duckworth of Illinois, Kramer, North Dakota, Casey, Pennsylvania, Romney, Utah, Brown of Ohio, Wicker of Mississippi, Stabenow of Michigan, Risch of Idaho, Senator Markey of Massachusetts, 18, 18 different provisions which added to what we had done previously, we've got priorities from nearly 70 members of the Senate. That makes a, a good, strong bipartisan bill even better and stronger. Uh, we now need to move to our final steps. Uh, just a bit ago, the Majority Leader filed cloture on our modified substitute amendment, which will allow us to hold that vote on Monday evening. So as we look to complete our work on this this bipartisan uh, innovation package. Know that we're going to be doing that throughout um, today, tomorrow, and, and through the weekend. I, I want to just address very quickly uh, now some of the support that this American Energy Innovation Act has drawn. Uh, we've focused on the priorities that it contains for members here in the Senate, but we've also drawn strong support from many stakeholders outside. A group of 39 major trade associations, think tanks, advocacy groups, and environmental groups wrote us to express their strong support for our energy innovation package. The signatories include the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the National Association of Manufacturers, the Environmental Defense Fund, the Nature Conservancy. This is just a few uh, of the many. Some of the comments that we've heard. Uh, they wrote that our diverse organizations recognize and agree that climate change is an important national priority that demands congressional attention. While we may not agree on everything, 
We believe that there is much common ground upon which all sides of the debate can come together to begin to address climate change, promote American technological leadership, and foster continued economic growth. In particular, there is a growing consensus that the development and commercialization of new technologies are important factors that will determine how quickly and at what cost greenhouse gas emissions can be reduced. The American Energy Innovation Act will help do just that. It will accelerate these breakthroughs and enable adoption of lower emitting and more efficient technologies. Congress now has its best opportunity in more than a decade to enact significant energy legislation. That's a pretty strong statement from those organizations. The National Mining Association, whose members understand as well as anyone that clean technologies rely on, on raw materials. NMA wrote to us and said, this forward-looking legislation takes steps to address the nation's alarming mineral import reliance and brings the United States to the forefront of research and development efforts in carbon capture technologies. The Consumer Energy Alliance wrote that our American Energy Innovation Act, quote, provides opportunities to make real progress on the energy issues and environmental protections that all Americans support. The Bipartisan Policy Center wrote that our bill is, quote, a landmark piece of legislation representing a down payment on the innovation necessary to decarbonize our energy sector and modernize our nation's energy policies. And the Business Council for Sustainable Energy wrote that, quote, the bipartisan introduction of the American Energy Innovation Act demonstrates Congress's commitment to innovation in the U.S. energy sector. All told, we've received support from more than 200 groups, companies, and organizations for this legislation. And these are groups who, who are really involved in doing everything from keeping the lights on in, in big cities, in, in small communities all across the nation. Uh, these involve folks from Edison Electric Institute, the American Public Power Association, the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association, these are groups whose members are working to keep energy affordable, um, like the American Petroleum Institute, the National Ocean Industries Association. And, and we do. We appreciate all of them. Clear Path Action, Citizens for Responsible Energy Solutions, the CORE Network, the American Wind Energy Association, the Nuclear Energy Institute, the Clean Air Task Force, Third Way, the Energy Storage Association, so many more who have, who have contacted us and have shared their support. Um, we're hearing a lot from Alaskans as well. As the Alaska Power Association wrote in a letter we received this week, they said, APA and our member electric utilities throughout the state reiterate our support for the many energy law modernization elements that comprise your American Energy Innovation Act. AEIA will help Alaska's far-flung electricity providers and their consumers. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce Global Energy Institute wrote, we urge the Senate to seize this opportunity to fuel American innovation and promote climate action by passing this legislation without delay. Some pretty good words uh, coming from them, we certainly would agree. We had an opportunity this morning, Mr. President, in the Energy and Natural Resources Committee to hear from the head of the IEA, the International Energy Agency, based out of, of, of France, Paris, France. And uh, he heads up the, the, the member uh, company, uh, countries, excuse me, um, that are part of the IEA, and they track they track t trends in energy markets. We do uh, an annual update with Dr. Birol. And as usual, his words um, were, were important, telling, resounding. Uh, but as, as we reflected on what he is, is highlighting as areas of opportunity for the United States as not only a, an energy leader, but a global energy leader, what we have, what we've put in this American Energy Innovation Act is exactly, exactly the recipe that we should be pursuing to continue to be a leader 
in, in, in the energy sector to be a strong leader from the economic perspective, to be a strong leader with energy security, national security, and in environmental security. We're doing the right thing. We have it within this legislation. We'll be moving forward more aggressively with it next week so that uh, we can get to a good and a positive conclusion for the Senate and for the country. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.